so today I have with me EQ discussion psychiatry I picked up a case which I would like to discuss with you I'll discuss the first the clinical history the options the approach to the diagnosis and how to rule out the remaining options plus few important points which I wish to give you along with this case this is a case of affective disorder affective means affect emotional expression affective disorders means mood disorders let's have a look at the history of the case a male patient 37 year old suddenly became too cheerful for no particular reason since last five days okay age 37 year old suddenly became cheerful for the last five days duration is five days has a subjective feeling of high creative abilities that he can do more enthusiasm elation and increased productivity in spite of manifest disability to concentrate that is impaired attention his speed of thinking process is too high he is uncritical to his state and finds it normal finds it normal means no insight the patient doesn't have awareness so we are seeing a case of elation okay enthusiasm patient believes he has high abilities tall claims difficulty in concentration then this all is going towards an elevated state which is mania but mania required minimum seven days to make a diagnosis a very common mistake done by this type of question by students they see the question euphoria elation they mark it euphoric mania no it cannot be mania because it requires six days elevated state has one more that's hypomania which requires minimum four days duration answer of this question is hypomania for those who do not know this concept have a look here an elevated mood for minimum duration of seven days is called mania a lesser elevation of mood is hypomania and hypomania require minimum duration of four days other than this the severity of the symptom is much more here and lesser here although the diagnostic criteria dig fast is applicable in both the cases okay the DSM diagnostic criteria for both of them is dig fast distractibility irritability it is a standard mnemonic grandiosity flight of ideas activity increased sleep decreased decrease need for sleep more energetic and talkativeness this is a standard usually what happens uh, mania may have delusion of grandiosity present or delusion of grandiosity absent we call it as mania with psychosis or mania without psychosis usually mania is with psychosis in hypomania most of the cases delusion of grandiosity is absent another point is mania may need hospitalization may not necessary and usually hypomania is manageable on the OPD basis outpatient basis although this is not a proper criteria this is just a way to differentiate it is written that if the symptoms are requiring hospitalization it is more likely to be mania than of a 
hypermania another term mentioned in this question is what is the difference between euphoric mania which is happy mania versus dysphoric mania which is irritable mania mostly mania is a convertible form of illness euphoric and dysphoric alternate with each other but two distinct forms are identified euphoric as well as dysphoric mania why not it is cyclothymia cyclothymia is hypomania and subsyndromal depression continuous for a period of 2 years neither it has a full blown mania nor it has a full blown depression so what is cyclothymia hypomania plus sub syndromal depression episodes continuous for a period of 2 years that is known as cyclothymia so coming back to my question it is not cyclothymia it is not euphoric mania it is not dysphoric mania it is hypomania one more uh, important mcq i would like to give you nowadays one mania is considered as bipolar we do not make a single diagnosis of acute mania so mania and depression is known as bipolar 1 and hypomania and depression is known as bipolar 2 a very frequently asked mcq in your exam what is bipolar 1 and what is bipolar 2 i expect all of you to remember whatever points i have discussed in this mcq discussion and an approach to a patient having elated that's all about this question thank you